Maryland is now playing a role in the international fight against the Ebola outbreak. Working with the CDC, state health officials will monitor the health of people who have just arrived here from West Africa. 11 News reporter George Lettuce joins us live from the state health department with more details on the story. George? Stan, Maryland's one of the first states where this will happen, but tonight the state's health secretary said exactly how this is being accomplished is still in motion. Maryland is one of six states the CDC says represents 70% of the people arriving to the U.S. from three Ebola stricken countries Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. So starting Monday, health officials in Maryland, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, New Jersey, and Georgia will monitor for 21 days the health of every person coming from those countries who did not show symptoms at the airports. The CDC says once those travelers arrive at five U.S. airports, including Dulles International, they'll be given an Ebola packet that includes a thermometer and a description of the symptoms. What this is, is another layer of protection. Maryland Health Secretary Joshua Sharfstein says exactly how the state will monitor people once they leave the airport is still being ironed out. Travelers may be required to self-report how they're feeling to the local health department each day, or the state could take a more active role. Passengers are screened in West Africa. They're screened again when they come here. We will be um, providing oversight that's appropriate to make sure that if people uh, are getting sick that we can evaluate them very quickly. Meanwhile, the mother of Ebola patient Amber Vincent said in a statement that as of last night, officials at Emory University and the CDC are no longer able to detect the virus in her blood. And for the first time, we're hearing from the now recovered freelance cameraman who contracted the virus while working for NBC News in Liberia. For me personally, I am just so fortunate to be alive. And back to that monitoring program, the CDC says at some point it will expand to other states. Meanwhile, BWI Airport is not screening passengers for Ebola symptoms because a spokesperson says uh, no flights carrying West African travelers uh, arrives at BWI. We're live in Midtown Baltimore, George Lettuce, WBAL-TV 11 News.